Hey y'all, it's Stacy. Okay, so this morning I want to show y'all how I make my uh, banana smoothie. I've had some people ask. I have it every morning for breakfast and it is delicious. Um, if you're on Weight Watchers Points Plus, um, it is four points. If you are calorie counting, it's about 300. So yeah. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, if you can see back behind me, what I'm actually doing right now is I'm getting my bananas. I have my cutting board and I'm cutting and I'm cutting one up at a time and putting them in a single baggie so I can freeze them. So the first thing I do is I just go to the freezer and I grab my baggie of one banana um, and I just keep them all stored there. Now I've already done that, so I just put it in the blender. Then I get one cup of milk, um, you know, obviously whatever kind you want to get. And I like a lot of milk because I like it extra, extra creamy. I mean, you don't have to use milk at all. You can use, um, like, soy milk or, I don't know, you know the different milk substitutes. And you can just put a little bit in. You don't have to put a lot. I just like to put a whole lot. So it's zero points for the banana, and it's three points for the milk, because I use a lot of it. Um, then I choose um, one tablespoon, about one tablespoon, well, actually less, of sugar. Now, you, obviously, you can use Splenda or Stevia, anything you want, or you can just not have it, but I find it's not sweet enough, so I just kind of... I don't know, sprinkle a little bit in there. I don't know. That might be too much. So, um, yeah, I don't even put like one tablespoon. That's a tablespoon, but I don't even put one tablespoon in there. Okay, and then all I do is I put my lid on my blender and I take it over here. Now, this part's going to be loud, okay? So, and I just put it on whip. I just, any of them will work really. And you just, you know, blend until you like the consistency. You know, you can take it out and check it and see if that's the way you like it. Um, I pretty much know how I like mine to be or whatever. So, yeah. Then you just take, that's what it looks like. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. It tastes literally like um, a banana milkshake. So, just pour it in your glass. And it makes, this glass is like a really huge glass. I forgot how many ounces, but it's, I mean... I'll show you it next to a regular glass. Hang on. So you can see how much it makes. It makes a lot. I think Joseph and I measured this one time and it might have been 32 ounces. I don't really know. Okay, so then what I do is I take some, my favorite brand of whipped cream is always the store brand. I don't know why, but I just think it tastes better. So this is Walmart brand and it's whipped light cream so I always get the light kind and if you're counting calories this is 15 sorry it's not focusing it's 15 calories for two tablespoons sorry I was trying to get the focus anyways um 15 calories for two tablespoons or zero points for two tablespoons yeah okay so I just take it and I just do a little dollop. Then I stick my straw in there and that is it. So that is how I make my banana smoothie. Um, you can also add protein powder to it um, to add some extra protein, but I don't because I don't really want the extra calories. You can also add a spoonful of peanut butter to it. Um, to have a peanut butter banana smoothie. 
and that would be delicious again i don't i just like the regular banana smoothie so yeah that's how you make it i know my friend on here leslie she makes them all the time every morning that's who actually gave me the idea for it so um if you but if you make them if you make banana smoothies let me know below in the comments let me know how you make yours and yeah i'll talk to y'all soon love y'all bye